I want to start with a laugh this week, and it actually takes a little bit to get me laughing at the movies, to be honest, because I love a horror, love a musical, love a drama. The comedies sometimes fail to get me having a bit of a giggle, but I have to say that the Breaker Opera has absolutely had me laughing out loud. I want to say a big congratulations to Madeline Sami and Jackie Van Beek for getting behind this one and making it happen. What it is, is in a world where we outsource pretty much everything the breaker uppers will come in and do just that break up with people you'll see some familiar faces in this one james rolleston and rose matafeo just to mention just a couple and also taika waititi has got a producer credit on this but i think this is our new zealand film of the year certainly when it comes to comedy the breaker uppers hello breaker uppers you want to be single by march consider it done just because we got gay marriage doesn't mean we need to follow through you know I didn't vote for it. You weren't gay eight months ago, Russell. I would highly recommend getting along to see the Breaker Uppers this weekend. And also, for different reasons, Truth or Dare. Now, Truth or Dare is... Actually, it's going to sound a bit cheesy when I say it, but I promise you it's worth a watch if you're just looking for, A, something that'll just kind of go, ooh, you know, put the proverbial up you, but also, you know, something that's easy to watch, something that's perhaps not going to win the awards, but is an enjoyable thriller. This is a supernatural thriller based on a group of friends who go from America down to Mexico. They take part in a game of truth or dare, but then what happens is it's essentially a supernatural game where if they don't go through with the dare or they don't tell the truth, they die. Tell the truth or you die. Do the dare or you die. Refuse to play. You know what? Screw this. And you die. Now, to be fair to say, there's not massive names in Truth or Dare, but that shouldn't put you off because, as I said before, it is well worth a watch. It's an easy watch. Great if you're just looking for a nice, easy thriller to sink your teeth into. Now, in terms of binge watching, The Handmaid's Tale Season 2 is out. I've only watched one episode so far, but gosh, I got so wrapped up in Season 1, and they reckon that Season 2 is going to be darker than Season 1. If you're not familiar with The Handmaid's Tale story, it is based on a book that so many people loved. As soon as someone said the word dystopian, I was like, ah, oh, I'm not really into this, but I watched it. If you can imagine that it, it's a look at um, a society that treats women quite badly, uh, even though there is a group of women who has the ability to procreate for those who can't. Now, they treat them okay when they're with child, but outside of that, there's some pretty horrific things go on. Uh, we left the end of the last season with a bit of a revolt, some escape from this dystopian um, civilization, and now we're starting to think, where is this going to go? So, in terms of a winter binge watch, I would highly recommend The Handmaid's Tale. It's on Lightbox at the moment. And in terms of live entertainment up and down the country, Blenheim Music Theatre are doing Mary Poppins. In fact, it closes this weekend, so I want to say a massive good luck for the rest of the season, or chookers, or break a leg, if you're superstitious. Uh, Fiddler on the Roof too in Papatui to Monaco Performing Arts doing Fiddler on the Roof. It's on at the moment, so a good one to get along and see that classic musical in Auckland this weekend. And also, the Comedy Festival, there's so much on, I would highly recommend Comedy festival.co.nz but the big show is on this weekend and of course from the Edinburgh Fringe we've got Lauren Patterson, Finn Taylor, Phil Wang too and Ian Smith from the UK and check out the Hoyts website too it'll always tell you what's good this weekend at the movies what's coming up and what's good now too by the way and a big thank you to Hoyts for bringing us entertainment on the cafe every week if you'd like to win a double pass to go along to the Hoyts reclining cinema at Wido Park all you need to do is go to our Facebook Facebook page which is the Cafe NZ. Looking forward to catching up with you next week for plenty more movies, some great binge watches and of course live entertainment.